Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to do another letter that has slant lines. And the slant lines just means that they're at an angle. Today we're going to practice the letter X, the uppercase and lowercase X. First, we're going to review really quickly how to hold our pen, pencil, or pen, whatever we're writing with. So first we are going to turn the bottom three fingers and that gives us the top two fingers. We're going to lay our marker, pencil, or pen on top. I'm gonna to uncap my marker. This way I can write with my fingers and I don't have to use my whole hand. If you hold it incorrectly, you usually have to write with your whole hand. That will make your hand go really tired really fast. So I'm holding mine with my two fingers on the top. That way I can move it and see my hand doesn't have to move at all. All right, I'm going to look at the letter X. My letter X starts at the top line and it goes all the way to the bottom line at a slant or an angle. And then I go back to the top line and this time I slant backwards because I'm crossing through my first line. Now let's do this on the line paper. So I start at the top line, I go down at a slant, I stop back at the top line and I'm backwards slant down to the bottom line crossing my first line. Start at the top line at an angle, go down to the bottom line, top line slant backwards across my first line to the bottom line. Let's practice the rest of this whole line, all the way to the end. I start at the top line, I cross over to the bottom line. Now I'm going to look at this letter. This letter doesn't have my numbers where I start, so I'm just going to go ahead and start at the top line, go down at an angle, start at the top line, go down at a backward slant. I'm going to do the next one, start at the top line, go to the bottom line, start at the top line, go at a backward slant to cross my first line. This is the capital X. Please pause your video here and finish writing your entire row. Now that you've done that whole row, I'm going to go to my next line. I have a starting point here. That means this is where I start. I start at the top line, I go at an angle or slant to the bottom line. I go back to the top line and at a backward slant, go to the bottom line, crossing my first line. Did you notice that my first line and my second line cross right at the middle line? So I'm going to go back to my starting point. I'm going to write a slant to the bottom line. I'm going back to the top line. I'm going to slant backwards on the bottom line, making sure that my two lines cross in the middle. Please pause the video here and continue writing this whole line. Now we've arrived at the line where I do not have any dotted line to trace and I do not even have a starting point. It's just a regular line. We have graduated to writing these on our own. I need to start back at the top line and go at an angle to the bottom line. I go back to the top line and go at an angle to the bottom line, making sure that I'm doing it backwards slant and my two lines cross in the middle. This time I need to leave my own space because I don't have a starting point. So make sure you use the space of your pinky. I start at the top line at a slant to the bottom line, start at the top line, backwards slant to the bottom line, my two lines cross in the middle. Please finish this whole row, pause the video here, and then we get to the lowercase x. Now the lowercase x is exactly like the uppercase x. See, I start at the top, I go to at a, at a slant, I start at the top and I do a backward slant to cross over in the middle. As you notice, I do not start at the top line though because this is a lowercase letter. I start at the middle line. So my crossing over is in the middle of the middle line. So I do a middle line to bottom line, middle line, backward slant to bottom line. Middle line, slant to bottom middle line, backward slant to the bottom line, middle line, slant to, bo to the bottom row, middle line, backward slant to the bottom row, middle line, slant to bottom row, middle line, backward slant. Let's finish this whole row and then we're moving on to the next one. This next one still has the dotted line so it's easy. I start at the middle row, go to the bottom row, middle row, bottom row. Doing the next one, middle row to the bottom row, middle row, backward slant to the bottom row. Please pause your video here and finish this whole row. 
now we've arrived at our row where they give us a starting point, but not much else. But I know that I start at my middle row and I go in a slant to the bottom row. I start at my middle row, backwards slant to the bottom row. There's my X. I go back to my starting point, middle row, slant to the bottom row, middle row, backwards slant to the bottom row. Pause your video here and finish this whole row. Now that we've gotten to the last line, I know I don't even have my starting point anymore, but I know how to do these. I start at my middle row, I go at a slant to the bottom row, middle row, backwards slant to the bottom row. I need to leave my own space since I don't have a starting point. Your pinky finger is a good distance. I start at the middle row, I go at a slant to the bottom row, middle row, and do a backwards slant to the bottom row. Please finish this whole row. When you're done finishing this whole row and leaving nice pinky, pinky finger side spaces in between, go ahead, finish this row, take a picture, and post it on our class dojo.